Hey everybody, this is round two of Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu. We are doing pretty well. We are set up, potentially, with the help of a relic. We're set up to close the Dunwich Dimensional Portal. Because our occultist has four Dunwich cards. Usually you need five cards to seal a gate. But we, uh, uh, the hunter has a relic that says you can seal a gate with just four cards. So relics can be played out of turn. So if the hunter plays this relic right now out of turn, then I could have the occultist go first and close the Dunwich gate, which I think is exactly what I'm going to do. The relic has been played out of turn, and now the occultist is going to take her turn, and as her first action, she's going to discard one, two, three, four cards. That relic is now used up, and uh, the gate is closed, which also means that she gets to remove one cultist from each location in that town. Hmm. So this is interesting, because what I could do, instead of doing that as her first turn, I could say that's going to be her fourth turn. So then on her first, second, and third turn, she could do something crazy like move this cultist here, that would be one action, move this cultist here, here, that's two actions, move, I think that might be all she can do, actually. She could move this cultist here, that's three actions, then she takes her fourth action, to seal the gate. Then she gets to remove one cultist from each location in this town. And so she gets to get rid of two cultists. I don't know that that actually helped. Yeah, I don't think it did. Uh, I might have overthought that a little bit. In which case, maybe that's not what I want to do. But I, wouldn't, I don't remember the, the original game state now, so I guess that's what she's done. I feel like I probably wasted a movement for her now. But I think that might be alright. Either way, that gate is sealed. And we're down two cultists, which is great. Alright, so she's going to draw back up. She's got an Arkham and an Innsmouth. So that's feeling pretty good, I guess. So she's got two Innsmouth and one Arkham. And our hunter has, I think, a couple of Arkhams. Three Arkhams. So, yeah, if she could get the hunter her Arkham card, that would probably be good. But first, she has to draw from the summoning deck. Okay, so this is not great. Uh, so they... So a couple of stages here. So the factory gets a cultist. And the Great Hall gets a cultist. But the really sort of thing to note here is that the Shogoth moves. So the Shogoth is going to move closer, one square closer, to the gate. The Shogoth can go to the gate, but if it is compelled to move once it is at the gate, then the game is over. That's the occultist's turn. I don't know if I did that right. I think there was definitely some optimization that I ate up by trying to move cultists around to be clever, because I wanted to maximize how many cultists I could remove from this location, essentially. But I, I think probably it would have been smarter to, I don't know, have her meet up with the hunter and swap cards or something. But, I mean, she didn't have the Arkham card at that time, so I don't know. I don't know. It, it, could, be, it could be nothing. It could be fine. So it's anyway, it's the hunter's turn now. So with one action, she's able to 
remove as many cultists at her current location. So she's going to do that. That's one action. Now she has a couple more actions to go. I think she needs to go hunt this, this Shogoth. I think that's what really needs to happen. So for her second, third, and fourth, two, three, four. Okay, so let's think about that then. She could also just move to the bus station for her second move. And then she can take the bus as another action. Bus, the bus system is actually pretty confusing. So take a bus, discard a clue card at a bus station to move to any location in that town. Okay, well, I don't want to move to any location in this town. So, or anywhere on the board, if the card matches your current town. Okay. Wait a minute. Discard a clue card. Let's say for a moment that I've discarded a Kingsport clue card. Discard a clue card at the bus station to move to any location in that town. Right? I don't know. It, it, in that town or in that town? I don't know what that means. I better refer to the rule book for this one. Take a bus. While on a bus station location, you can do the action in two different ways. Discard a clue card to move to any location in the town pictured on the card. Or discard a card matching the town you are in to move to any location in any town. Okay, got it. That works. That's confusing, really, but that's fine. So if she discards a Kingsport card, that's the first... Oh, I've been discarding cards into the wrong discard deck, I think. Yep, I sure did. Okay, that's fine. It's not a problem. All right, uh, so if she gets rid of a Kingsport card, then she can go to any location in Kingsport. So, she, is mo she, she spent one action to get rid of the cultists. She's spending her second action to go to the bus station. And then she's spending her third action to take the bus. And she gets to choose where she lands. She doesn't have to go to the other bus. So she's going to choose to land on this space with the Shogoth. And then as her fourth action, she is going to defeat a Shogoth for one action. That's a special talent that the hunter has. So that's her fourth action. She defeats the Shogoth, sending him back to the alternate reality from whence he came. That was an effective turn. Why aren't all my turns like that? That was a really good turn. I mean, there's still this cultist hanging out, taunting her, but there's no Shogoth, and that's huge. That's a big, big deal. And we have zero clusters of three cultists, which is really good. All right. So really, I'm, I think I'm focusing on, this is bad. Really, I think I'm focused. This is good. I'm focusing on Arkham as her next target, just because that's the most, most of the cards that I see in their hands. So that she's just drawn two cards for the next stage of her, of her turn. One is a relic, and one is evil stirs. Evil stirs is the worst possible thing to draw. Uh, a silver key, the active player can instantly move to any location on the board. That's useful. Evil stirs, less useful for her. So first, she has to roll a sanity die. This is the sanity die, and she stands to lose her sanity. Ah, nothing. So a blank side of the die means nothing happens, so she's okay. Awakening. Reveal the next old one. All right, well, this is our first one. So I'm going to take the top card and take a look at it. It is Yog sothoth 
playing relic cards can only be done by the active player. Oh, this is it's not great. All right. The good news is that we're still at a r summoning rate of two. So that means that only two cultists get placed on the board every, every turn. So that's a good thing. And we'll be at that rate until the next old one appears. So that's pretty good. But the, the problem is that relic cards are no longer playable out of turn. They're, they're something that you can only play during your turn. It doesn't take an action to play a relic card, but before we, I could play them anytime. Now I have to, I have to wait till it's that, that person's turn. All right, next step for evil stirs. A Shogoth appears. I just got rid of a Shogoth. Draw one card from the bottom of the summoning deck and put a Shogoth there. All right. Uh, bottom of the summoning deck. So grabbing the bottom of the deck here is University in Arkham and the Shogoth moves, but I don't... Uh, does that... I, does that... I guess that counts, right? So University... Where is the university, anyway? It's definitely here. That's the park. That's the university. That's the university. And on the card that I drew, there's an icon that says the Shogoth moves. So by my reckoning, I believe that it moves to the gate. Uh, which means that I could lose this game with one draw of a summoning card. Because if it is compelled to move while it's on a gate, then the game is over. So that could be bad. And then cultists regroup. Shuffle the summoning discard pile and put the cards back on the top of the deck. So I take the discard of the summoning and shuffle it up. And of course this means, obviously, that sensitive areas are are the ones that are most likely to be affected next. So that's not great. Um, I would really like to keep that on the top of this deck <laughs> because that way I know that the Shogoth isn't going to move. So I put that at the top of the deck. And now I have to do a summoning for the end of the hunter's turn. So if the Shogoth moves, and it just did, then the game is, is over. And it looks like the game is over. Because the Shogoth that is meant to move is already on a gate. So I don't know what it does exactly. I guess it moves through the gate, or, or maybe it opens the gate and lets a bunch of other Shogoths, sh Shogoths through, maybe. Which then inevitably spread throughout the town. Uh, a couple of gibbering mouthers from uh, a D&D &D game as well come through. They, uh, they spread through the town, killing cultists and players left and right. Um, and that would be the end of the game. However, I'm going to assume because that would be a short, <laughs> a very short series, um, which would be fine. I mean, that would be one way to play this. But I'm going to pretend like when you summon a Shogoth in Evil Stirs and there's a lo an icon for the Shogoth to move, that it cannot be summoned and moved on the same turn. I think that's a believable rule. Um, there may even be a rule about it in the rule book, for all I know. I'd have to look it up. But that's what we're going to go with, because otherwise this series is over. This game is over. So that's what we'll do. Which means that a boardwalk and a great hall cultist get summoned. So where's the boardwalk? Boardwalk is up here. Nope, up here. Okay, that's bad. So now we've got three cultists gathered the boardwalk. And a Great Hall cultist is over here. Two, getting bad. And a Shogoth does indeed move. And so on this turn, it will move to the gate. Meaning that one more summoning, summoning, then we lose. Well, I should say one more summoning with a Shogoth move, then we would lose the game. 
But for now, I'm going to assume that I'm just going to play it this way. And I believe that that's it. That's, that's everything for this round, right? We closed a gate. We killed a bunch of cultists. We technically lost the game. But we came back from the game. I, I guess I should swap out the color of the Shogoth so that we know that we're in an alternate reality. And that's it. Yeah, I think that's that feels pretty pretty right. Yeah, she drew. Yeah, okay. Yep, I think we're good. Okay, that's it for this round then. And next time we'll go on playing round three. Thanks for watching.